Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's top news. In India, the light complexion has been associated with prosperity and beauty for thousands of years and remains a highly desired aesthetic goal. India believes that lighter skin tone increases confidence, youthfulness, employment and social class. India's age-old obsession with fair skin is well known with a large number of skin bleaching creams available in the market every day in addition to the rampant misuse of topical steroid creams. Women are using topical steroids for achieving fairness, a common practice in India driven for various reasons. The use of betamethasone steroid and other steroids on the face has dangerous consequences. The day we stop its use, it is followed by itchy facial rashes, redness and photosensitivity. Reuse of it gives temporary relief, hence weaning off from topical corticosteroid use for the face becomes a difficult choice. But there are some steroid creams that are often used to treat inflammation, irritation and itching caused by skin conditions. The steroids you're given by a doctor are man-made versions of the natural hormones your body produces. However, not all steroid treatments are topical. Doctors at Delhi Ram Manohar Loya Hospital have launched a campaign against the skin creams containing steroids that are being sold as an over-the-counter drug. The doctors from RML Hospital's Dermatology Department have also demanded a ban on steroids in skin creams. According to dermatologists at RML, most of the patients who come to the OPD are those who have been using continuously creams that contain steroids, which often results in various side effects such as serious skin infections, leaving the skin damaged for years even after prolonged treatments. A unique meeting of top researchers of IADVL and Allied Sciences working on dermatophytosis was held in Delhi on 16th of October. India is facing a huge problem of an almost epidemic-like spread of superficial fungal infection of the skin, also called ringworm. A common problem that is faced is the self-use of steroid creams by patients that make the infection worse and even more difficult to treat. Such steroid creams are freely available without prescriptions in the country despite repeated attempts by IADVL to ban their over-the-counter availability. To know more about the campaign against steroid use, we have with us today Dr. Bhavuk Dheer, Senior Resident Dermatologist at RML Hospital. Welcome to Medical Dialogues, Doctor. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. So, uh, can you please talk about the campaign to ban steroid as over-the-counter drug? It's a campaign to ban the use of steroids without uh, the appropriate prescription of it and to avoid or ban the use of combination steroid creams. So, that is the actual campaign which we are holding. And, uh, you know, we have been noticing for the past several years, the trend has been that patients tend to self-medicate uh, with over-the-counter over uh, cortical steroids and that is causing a lot of harm to the patients. So that is why we decided that we should start an initiative to educate the patients regarding the adverse effects of steroids. So what kind of cases you deal with every day in OPD and like what are the major side effects? Uh, the most common problem that we are encountering as of now is that there are uh, rampant cases of fungal infection which is known as tenia and many patients uh, self-medicate with the uh, over-the-counter creams which their chemist or the pharmacist advises them to use and that usually contains a combination of antifungal with steroids and that has initially leads to a remission or a decrease in the disease and patient feels that the tube is working but in reality the steroid suppresses the immunity and stops the ability of the body to fight back and eventually once the patient stops using the cream it spreads to the entire body and then it doesn't resolve or respond to the conventional medications that we use so that is a major problem that uh, we are facing right now besides this the second most uh, frequent thing is that patients use it for skin brightening or skin glow the most you know the glow creams which are advocated usually contain some amount of steroid or hydroquinone and that uh, leads to initially the face improves and patients uh, get compliments from their relatives that you have grown brighter but eventually what it happens is that the steroid creams causes atrophy or thinning of the skin and uh, it also causes visible blood vessels and sensitivity of the skin the patient does not tolerate any kind of cream after they have used a steroid cream on their face for uh, uh, a month or more than that 
So these are the two most common problems that we face in our OPD these days. What should the patient know? So the patient should be aware that any cream which contains a steroid preparation is not meant for chronic use and it is always has to be applied only for the specific amount of duration which has been told by the doctor which they are visiting. A steroid cream is not a routine cream which they can use like patients often use betnovid for skin glow and that's something which should never be done. So that is the first and foremost thing. Second thing, uh, you should always avoid uh, taking creams or OTC preparations which are given by a pharmacist because frankly they are not authorized to treat or diagnose a disorder and give treatment. They are not authorized to do that but they still do it. It's rampant in India and that is actually sometimes harms the patient because the disease which was initially there might be treatable if they seek the appropriate care but the complications which result from the steroid use are often irreversible or very long and chronic and that is much more difficult to manage for us like photosensitivity or the burning sensation which happens after a prolonged steroid use that is mainly due to the atrophy and the uh, abnormality of the vasculature that uh, leads to abnormal reactivity or hypersensitivity to any exogenous substances so that thing becomes almost permanent or lifelong and that is very difficult to treat for us because if the patient had come to us initially without application of any steroid we could have managed it easily but after steroid use for a long time it's very difficult sometimes thank you so much doctor thank you for your time you're welcome thank you that's all for today stay safe never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon